Good morning, world. I'm going to jump right in. This topic has been something, one-way relationships, time wasters, um, has been something that I've been thinking about, and I'm going to jump in here with some tips on how to guard your precious time. Um, okay, so one-way relationships. This has taken me a long time to figure out, uh, but I started to notice that I was doing all the work, listening, um, making time in my schedule, doing all the traveling. I mean, because I've been to 36 countries, people assume it's really easy for me to keep doing that and they don't have to do any traveling themselves. So I get a lot of, when are you coming back to Portugal, Thailand, anywhere? Well, not today. I have things going on. Um, and then you start to notice that that's always going to be true of that relationship. Okay, some people can't leave their countries, but don't always put it on the other person. Like it's so easy to buy a thousand dollar train, uh, plane ticket, carve out days of time, and then the burden of traveling. Hey, I travel a lot, but the part I don't like about traveling is the traveling. It's not that easy. <laughs> now with COVID and all this stuff, it's like, yeah, it's not easy. So it's not just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go on a lark to Europe. Um. It's a big thing. So don't assume the other person is always going to take that on and you never have to travel to see them. If it's so important, then you can travel. Um, okay, so that's a big one. But the other things are more subtle. It's like you realize that you're the only one listening. Um, the topic of conversation is always about them, never about you for longer than five seconds um, because the topic of conversation cannot be shifted off of them. So I don't have those relationships anymore and I can figure out pretty fast um, now in like the first or second conversation with someone that they really, I've noticed it lately in the past week, I'll say something this has happened like twice in the past week. I've said uh, my feelings or some thought wasn't even heard. I could tell by how they were responding. It it didn't even cross their radar. And I, you know, it's funny. You get better about noticing when someone is listening or they're not listening. And now I'm really paying attention to it. And then I just spend less time with that person and don't waste my breath. Because it's not like you're having a conversation. You're really just listening to a monologue. Um, which is exhausting. Listening is a lot harder than talking. This is a world problem that a lot of people don't seem to understand because they've never listened. So stay away from those people. I wouldn't work with them. I wouldn't have them as friends. Doesn't matter who they are. I'm not going to waste my precious energy. One thing about getting older that's really wonderful is that it's like, wait, my time is finite here in this dimension. I don't have to give any of it to you if I get nothing back. What's in it for you? This is a viable question to ask yourself. What is in it for you? Um, give, give, give. No. Don't just give, give, give. You know, in all the volunteer work that I've done worldwide, the biggest thing I got out of it was actually I got a lot out of it. It's not so much what you're doing for the other person. It really makes you feel good when you're giving of your heart. Um, and there's a... It's not so much about their reaction. It's about how you feel when you're doing it. So if you feel great listening to somebody ad infinitum, go ahead and do it. I don't. I feel drained and 
taken advantage of if I've listened to somebody and gotten nothing back. So you're going to feel a little bit unsettled when you get off the phone or with an interaction because it's like the two times it happened this week, I was like, they didn't hear what I said at all. And they don't want to because <laughs> they're um, doing their own thing. They're They're working on something that is more important than listening to you. So let that sink in. Because they've decided or they're unconscious or whatever. I don't care what the reason is anymore. If I'm not going to be listened to in an interaction, then I don't need the interaction. So, goodbye. Um, so, back to one-way relationships in your precious time. You only have... A, enough um you only have you you are enough to begin with and you you have a certain amount of energy every day and you want to do the things that increase your energy or value your energy over um having it stolen having it not appreciated having it be some throwaway thing. I, I started to notice this, especially with the traveling in my relationships, that people would be like, oh, when are you coming? It's like, and they'd be never visiting me <laughs> where I was. And then I started to notice the pattern with that. Um, so, yeah, sometimes people can't travel. That's fine. But a lot of times people can and they just don't want to put the effort. So I'm going to leave you with this. The effort is what I'm looking at now. It's like if there's no effort coming from the other, other side, then an effort can be called, uh, like in business, it's they pay you. Um, they appreciate your time. And it works in personal um, interactions it's a back and forth. It's not just you doing everything, you doing the phone calls, you doing the traveling, you doing the giving, you doing the buying. Um, so you got to pay attention to that because all of a sudden you start to feel drained. And I'll say one thing about this pandemic. It's really made me take a look at my precious time and energy and what I'm willing to do and not do based on my own peace. There's nothing worth giving up your peace for. So that's my motto now. I'm not going to give up my peace for whatever, you know, it's valuable. My peace is valuable. So let me know your thoughts on that and um, how you guard your own precious energy for other people to share as well. And thank you so much for the likes, the questions, the shares, everything. I do appreciate every comment every um share every like and this is my wonderful community on here and i love interacting so i'll see you in the next video